Hi guys, welcome to MML Motorhouse and here's a video tour of the Mercedes-Benz. So lovely car, we've just taken this in, in Park Exchange. Um, really nice chap, he's enjoyed the car, he bought a Maserati from us. He brought the Mercedes up and said, look guys, you wanna Park Exchange it? And absolutely we do. It's such a stunning example in the pearlescent white with the blue roof. It looks absolutely fantastic, it really does. Um, it's such a nice contrast. He's only done 50, I would have a look, 52, 53,000 miles, so really good on the miles as well. It's a really gorgeous thing. So what I'm gonna do, let me give you a wander around the car to start with, then we'll go back through it in a bit more detail. Uh, just go through it, um, like do another tour around it, just go through the spec, any imperfections. Um, we're just finding these videos really useful. So many of our clients now, Having cars delivered, buying from us online, it's a great way to buy a car now. Have it delivered. Um, and we're just fine, if you had a video tour, it just is really nice. You know, you haven't got that, that anxiety that you've missed anything on the photos or you've been, you know, potentially misled at all. You can really delve into the detail of the video and then when the car does turn up, you can enjoy it, you can relax because you know when it comes, you know exactly what you're buying and I think it's a nice way to do it. Equally, we love people here. You know, we love people coming to MML Motor House, looking at the cars, taking them for test drives. So, you know, there is a time and money element involved in coming to view a car and, you know, potentially viewing this video first might enable you to rule it in or rule it out or perhaps might raise a few questions you've got with us before you come. So, yeah, hopefully you find it useful. Before I get into it, uh, this car's got a fantastic history. Um, we are, I believe, going to do a new service on the car. I'll check on the MOT. If the if cars have got less than nine months, we tend to put a brand new MOT on it. It will go through a full 41-point health check of our technicians, and it will come with a three-month warranty, uh, which you can extend. So you've got warranty, health check, MOT, long or either new, and a new service if it's due one. So you just know if you're spending the money here, it's a lot of money to spend. You know you're buying a really good car, and you can just enjoy it. So let's get into it. So before I get going, I've got to say this color is stunning. I don't know how much you can see underneath the lights, but it's a pearlescent white. Um, so it's kind of, I get the actual color code, I should know it, but it's, it's got like a little bit of a flick in the paint and it really, it's just so nice. It's nicer probably in person it is in the video um, with the dark blue roofs, it looks brilliant. Right, let's start on the windscreen though. Lovely and clean. Uh, you've got the sensor in the middle for the automatic wipers, the rain, uh, sensor, but no chips or cracks on that at all. So a couple of little dead bugs, courtesy of the drive back from the Valitas, but looking very nice. Coming down the front, you've got these gorgeous lines. I think for me, the front of the E-Class is where it's at. I mean, the back's lovely, but the front, look at that. It is such a gorgeous looking car. It really is. You've got the, the chrome trim right on the lower bottom, the big Mercedes badge in the middle, some really striking lines on the on the bonnet, and it just looks fantastic. We've got day running lights, so Xenon lights, and then day running lights, which again, they're bright white, so they just do complement the car well in terms of sort of the colour. I think they were on in some of the still photos, so have another look at the advertising shots to see them. Coming down here, lovely and clean on the front. Um, it's only done a low mile, so you're not going to expect many. The odd stone chip here and there. I oh, know it's a dead bug, so it's not. Let's have a quick look. I'm sure there is the odd stone chip. I'm struggling to find any. A couple there, but they are minor. They really are minor. There's barely anything on it. Um, you know, look, take a step back, you can't see anything at all. I mean, there's the odd stone chip here and there, but nothing major at all. Headlights lovely and clean. No water ingress, they're not smoked over at all. Really, really clean. The valance at the bottom, lovely. Hasn't been scraped. Front parking sensors work well. So very good on the front indeed. Coming up down here onto the side of the car, get lovely and low. Really nice. All the shut lines are where I want them to be. No dings, no dents. Very clean. Car is HPI clear. So if you wanted a copy of that, do let us know. We can show it to you on the day or email it over. No issues. So right, here we go. Onto the front alloy. Now, it will go through, like I say, a health check. So the technicians will pick up on tyres and brakes if they need doing, but this is only a visual inspection. They all look very good. Drill discs looking nice through the alloys. Tyres all seem to have plenty of tread, seem to be wearing well. Alloy wheel there, a little bit scuffed. Now we can touch it in. Um, it's not an issue just to touch it into the graphite grey. If you want, um, let us know. If, you know, some people don't like that, but if you want us to just touch it in, that's not an issue. A little bit curved. The rest are pretty good. This one's just got a few marks, nothing major, but just bear that in mind. But it looks really good in the dark kind of graphite there. Just a nice contrast on the rest of the car. Coming down here, down the side. 
Wing mirrors, I love this kind of design with Mercedes, it's kind of like flick there, it's really smart. That is just a dead bug there, so don't, is it a dead bug on? I thought it was a dead bug. Okay, we've got a little bit of a stone chip just there. So just bear that in mind, very mind. I thought it was a dead bug, but a little bit of a stone chip there could always be touched in. Coming down the side, it's really hard. I just don't know if this video is capturing the pearlescent effect of the paint. I think it is, um, but it's really stunning. It really is stunning. Very clean down the door, even down on the shut line. Lovely and clean. Couple of little marks there where someone's caught it. Nothing that one, that one there, that'll polish out. I'm taking it out of my finger. Just a couple of little marks there. Nothing major at all. We're on to the rear. Very, very clean. That there, that's just a bit of muck. Um, very clean on the back. Really nice lines. You've got the parking sensor on the side of the bumper as well, which I love. Not just on the rear, so it just helps you when you're on the side of the car as well. Um, which is a nice touch by Merck. Rear alloy, very good. Centre cap, just a little bit sort of corroded. Other than that, rear alloy looking pretty good indeed. Couple of little marks on it, but nothing major at all. Discs looking nice through the alloys as well. I love this blue roof. Let's go to the roof first. Really nice condition, the roof. It really is. Now, you've got quite a lot of, it's hard under the floodlights to really see um, what's going on with it. It looks, looks a bit more marked than it actually is because it isn't at all. It's in really good condition. You're always gonna get a few little creases on the roof. You're always gonna get that. Um, but fundamentally, really lovely condition. Like I said, front lights are quite strong on it, but it's looking very nice in the blue. Really does look good. Round to the rear of the car. Got the double exhaust. Very, very good indeed. One thing I noticed, we're just missing the C off the tech, so I'll get that on order. So we will replace that, just missing the chrome C. The, yeah, the chrome C there, we'll get that taken care of. Down there on the passenger shelf, very good. Is that a scratch? No, it's a bit of muck. Quite a hard car to keep clean, I would have thought, but worth it when it is clean, because it looks cool, doesn't it? Very clean, all the way down. Little bit of a mark there. Minor, 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 just on the base there. Probably polish out, just bear that in mind. But you know, step away from it, you can't even see that. Again, the whole purpose of these videos is just to be so, almost over the top. We want you to see absolutely everything, but look at that, lovely and clean down there. No issues at all. Rear alloy. Can't see a mark on that, it looks pretty good to me. Coming down here, down the side, very clean. Shut line here, very good on that side. Couple of minor marks there, but nothing major. I'm being super anal, aren't I? Roof looking really nice. Like I said, that roof is definitely coming up lighter through the camera lens than it is my eyes. So that's really quite dark, it's in lovely condition. But under these lights, it just seems a bit lighter. Um, I don't know how it's coming across in the video, but if you want more details, snaps of that, let us know. There we go, front alloy, couple of little curb marks on that. Again, we can touch it in if you want, the little Merc badge in the middle, bit corroded, they're easy to replace. But yeah, a few little marks on that. So overall, I mean, look, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna call it pretty immaculate. All I would say is the alloys have got a few little marks. There's a small mark on the rear bumper, the odd stone chip here and there. Roof is in good condition. Like I say, a few crease marks, but you're always gonna get that on any convertible. Fundamentally very nice. Inside, we've got the really nice kind of ice white interior with the perforated leather. Over there on the passenger seat, nice. You've got the neck vents, which I love. So obviously when the roof's down, it's a little bit cold. You turn the neck vent on, it just blows out hot air, just keeps you warm when the roof's down, which is really cool. But yeah, passenger seat, very good. Over here on the driver's seat, lovely, not too bad at all. Bolster, just a little bit of wear on that. I mean, you're always going to get a bit of wear, aren't you, here and there. Uh, there's a little bit of a crack in the leather over here. It's not ripped. Uh, we could probably get that repaired really easy. Just a little bit of a crack over here, just where it's got wear and tears. So you could probably do a really good polish in these seats and just bring it up. But yeah, a little bit of a crack there. So just bear that in mind. Not major. Rear seats, nice condition. Very, very good in the rear. Got the wind deflector at the rear for your passengers. But nice and clean. Doesn't really look like the back's been used a lot. Jump in the car. Right, here we go. So we've got one key, um, just to let you know. So there's only one, but it's a main Merc key. We'll just start it up. Let's pull the door to. Okay, here we go. So, right. Started nice. Top up washer fluid, no problems. We'll get that done. 52,510, so okay, not 53. Ticking over really well. I've actually driven this car and it drives so well. Um, very, very straight. Uh, brakes lovely, drives lovely. Nice through the gears, plenty of power. Ticks over very well. So yeah, very nice car to drive. 
Steering wheel, good, good condition. Nice Mercedes leather steering wheel. You never go far wrong with these. Hands free here. We've got the Triptronic mode here if you want to get a bit lively with it. See our gear stick here for drive and reverse and park. Automatic wipers, automatic lights. We've got electric seats, um, folding mirrors over here. Sat nav working very nice indeed. Radio all working good. You can connect your phone and stream your music through the car. Obviously, hands free for your telephone. Coming down here. Heated seats working well. This is your neck warmer. So that's your heated seats. You can obviously turn the temperature down. That's your neck warmer, as I was talking to you earlier about. So obviously comes out of there, keep your neck nice and warm. Um, seat belt, this just pulls your seat belts forward if you just don't want to lean back all the time. Aircon's working well. Nice and clean down here. A couple of little scratches on the on the sort of you know the main center console here, but nothing too much to worry about. All very good. You've got your sports mode over here. This in here is your uh, roof control, which you'll put down in a minute. Armrest here, a little bit of a crack in the leather here. So like the crack on here and the crack in the seat, they're not ripping, they're not opening, but they're just there, just bear that in mind. It's really easy to replace that if you really, really wanted to. Um, you've got your sensors up there for your parking sensors, and you've got in your rear view mirror as well, you've got them nice and clean all the way around. A little bit of a scratch there on the speaker, uh, not speaker, sorry, the side trim. Again, you can replace it if you wanted. It's gonna be a few bits and bobs, nearly 10 years old, but overall, looking really really nice let's get this roof down so foot on the brake here we go so let's just watch this roof in oh, i'll probably help if i pulled it the right way but right, there we go and here we go so we've got the back it's gone up back of the roof just see back of the um sorry above the bonnet a boot sorry just going up glass folds there we go nice and clean no issues at all then we're just gonna pull that roof down fantastic then all the windows should go up in a minute here they go, but I'm going to keep them down because I think it looks better, so press that. And there we go. Our roof is now down, and this is the car with it down. Looking fantastic, isn't it? i got to say, it's nice with the roof up because you've got the blue roof, so it's really cool with the contrast, but when you've got that car with the roof down, it looks awesome. It looks so good. Really, really nice. Another sort of overall view of the inside very cool car and you've got this white detail here so you've got speakers in here and the white detail so that's your back that's your rear parcel well, not your rear pass shelf but that's yeah what it is it's your rear shelf in the car so it's always there when the roof's up you see it inside when the roof's down it's just nice because this continuation of the white it just makes it look pretty cool from behind so there we go anyway look i hope this video helps if you've got any questions on the car um you know if you want to see specific areas of the car in more detail closer photos closer videos let us know not a problem we can get them over to you if you're looking at a delivery just let us know where you are we get your price and an eta uh, if you want to come and see the car we we'll buy appointment just um, let us know when you want to come down we'll get you booked in um, anything at all just give us a call uh, an email message or whatsapp we'll always come back to you but in the meantime thanks for taking the time to watch our video hope it helps and uh, hopefully we'll speak to you soon thanks